Joining Autard this year is the talented sprinter Marquez, a full brother to dual Group 1 winner Mecca's Angel by the highly sought-after Dark Angel. With a pedigree packed full of speed and precocity, it's no surprise the Owen Burroughs trained sprinter excelled over six and seven furlongs, winning two Group 3 contests and finishing second by less than a length in Germany's most prestigious sprint, the Group 2 Golden Petch, which he was briefly awarded in the stewards' room before the decision was overturned on appeal. A remarkably consistent performer, Mark has won at two, three and four, including the Group 3 chip chase stakes over six furlongs during his final year. Here's Marquez, Burrettino off to the left in blue, encouraged along a little bit, pretend is level with him, they're either side of Rivellino, inside the last two, watchable to Marquez. Chuki roll between those, pretend is two lengths further back, Burrettino at the moment struggling, heading down towards the last furlong, Marquez in the blue and white, from pretend is storming home the near side, with them is watchable in between the pair is Chuki Roll. Marquez it is who shoots in front as they race up to the line, pretend chasing him down, but Marquez being pretend. As a three-year-old, the son of Dark Angel also scored at Group 3 level when adding to some solid performances in defeat, including an excellent second to dual Group 1 winner Lamato in the Park Stakes, with victory in the Criterion Stakes at Newmarket. These by about a length or so. Marquez not allowing him too much rope, however, neither too is Glenn Moss on the outside. ML on the inner is now being pushed along. Outback Traveller travelling well behind the pace, so too Order Combat. Now picking up on the outside is Casbert. Lincoln no move from him yet as they race on down towards the final two furlongs. They're racing down the hill now. Code Red still trying to get a bit more momentum going, trying to fight off the attentions of the Grey Colt. Marquez on the outside is just about in front now from Code Red. Order Combat Outback Traveller is just hanging left-handed under pressure. Marquez though begins to pour it on up the hill as they race inside the final half furlong here. Oh, Marquez is well on top. Order Combat in the clear, but Marquez will win the Criterion Stakes. A double for Sheikh Hamdan and Dane O'Neill. As a juvenile, Marquez finished in the top two on four occasions, including at Group 3 level, kicking off his consistent run of form by breaking his maiden in a six the furlong contest there, the at Ascot. Purple and light blue colours, recovering pretty well though, you have to say Marquez. On the near side, Fingal's Cave goes nicely, delusional at the back of the field is being held together, and uh, Emirates Airline still running green at the back as he's asked to pick up as they come towards the final two furlongs here. So just in front here, Kieran Fallon in the black cap here, the second colours of Sheikh Hamdan on Muta Farage, but here's Fingal's Cave on the near side with a determined looking run, and look at on the outside Marquez finishing off well Roderick likewise Marquez takes over from Fingal's Cave inside the final furlong Marquez down the centre it's Marquez and Dane O'Neill who come home to score here Marquez too strong Roderick just possibly from Fingal's Cave for... Marquez offers breeders an excellent opportunity to produce precocious commercial stock by a son of one of the most sought-after stallions in the sales ring